Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, help me out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and you'll always know when I'm here on YouTube talking about fishing. And I gotta tell you, school is in session today. I am gonna make you a more effective trout angler. I'm gonna make you a more effective landlocked king angler. We're not gonna show any fish footage today. If you wanna see me catch fish, tune in to one of the other thousand videos on the channel and you'll see me catching fish and holding them up and talking about it and all that kind of stuff. So if you're the guy that says, well, there's no fish in this video, we got fish on the channel. But today we are going to talk about the new frontier of trout trolling of king salmon, landlocked king salmon trolling, but I'm gonna break into the subject this way. What is the number one bait, the number one type of bait used by professional bass anglers? And I'm gonna give you a clue. It's not a rip bait, it's not a spinner bait, it's not a topwater bait. I fished with some of the best pro bass anglers in the country. I've shot video of them. I've taken pictures of them. I've seen the tackle on the decks of their boat and I see how they approach the lakes, the rivers, wherever they're fishing. And they always have several rods, sometimes the majority of their rods rigged up with some sort of soft plastic bait because they understand that soft plastics are among the most effective things you can use for bass day in, day out. They have realistic movement, they have realistic feel, and they readily take on scent. Whatever you want it to smell like, you can apply the scent to it and you've got a bait that rivals natural bait in terms of effectiveness. Now, trout anglers, We've been slow on the uptake when it comes to employing soft plastic lures. I am on the cutting edge of the new frontier of trout trolling, which is pulling or casting soft plastic offerings, okay? I have three of the best soft plastic offerings in the world available in my store. They move in a unique, a lifelike manner. They feel real. When the fish grabs them, touches them, they feel real and they take scent very, very well. I've got my three inch FHS grubs, devastatingly effective. Caught fish on those up to about 11 pounds last year and a lot of fish in the five, six, seven pound range. The Trout Tricks Worm, very unique, um, thin profile worm. I've got one rigged up right there. They come in five colors these days, three inches long, outstanding action. It's something that trout simply haven't seen and when they hit it, feels real, it tastes real. If you wanna see how effective these are and not me telling you how effective they are, look at a channel here on YouTube called The Gig Harbor Fishing, not fishing, Fishing Club. Those are a couple guys up in Washington State and they are having phenomenal results pulling trout tricks worms. 50, 60 fish a day on Trout Tricks Worms. Enough said, check those guys out. I'll put a link down below. You can check out their channel. They shoot some pretty good content and they are big fans of FHS, okay? Well, today we've got the grubs, the three inch grubs. We've got the Trout Tricks Worms, which are back in stock, by the way, this afternoon. Um, I, I've gotten some hand poured. I've been waiting for them. I know there's a big waiting list. They're back in stock, but today I am launching the third leg of my soft uh, plastic bait triad, and that is this one right here, two and three quarter inches long. Say hello to the trigger minnow. Look at that. It looks like a minnow. It moves like a minnow. Guess what? Trout that live in lakes, they eat smaller fish. This is a deadly offering. Fished it last year, tested it last year at Collins Lake. The reason you haven't seen it is I had to figure out how to rig them. Whenever you're you know, getting out there on the cutting edge of something, you've got to figure out how to fish it and you also have to figure out how you can fish it in a simple enough manner for the general angling public to utilize its effectiveness. When I first started fishing these, I was catching a lot of fish on them. I was using a, a needle to thread a treble hook in here, a tiny little treble hook. I was making them roll, deadly effective. 
but the rigging style was just insanely difficult for the average guy. It was a pain in the butt for me and I like tying knots. So I had to play around. Same thing was true of the Trout Tricks Worm. I was using a double hook rig and treble hooks and all kinds of different things. And then I figured out a very simplistic rigging approach that you can rig both the trigger minnows and the trout tricks uh, worms using. So let me show it to you. Very simple. I tied this extra short just because I didn't want to get a big tangle. Okay. And if you if you pick up a kit of the trout tricks or you pick up a kit of the trigger minnows, you're going to get some rigging supplies in the package. So all you need is some leader material and you are ready to fish and some fish scent. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. 10, 12, eight pound test, fluorocarbon leader material. You can alter the action of the lure by going up and down in line weight. Don't go below, don't go below six pound test. Don't go above 12. The line's gonna get stiffer as you go up in strength and it's gonna affect the action of the bait. So you can really dial that action in, okay? So all you need to do, a number four ring eye hook right there. I really like this. This is one of the reasons I love this rigging. I'm not using a tiny treble, which can pull out. I'm not using two little octopus hooks, which can pull out. I'm using a full number four hook. When that sinks home, you got that fish. You have a very low probability of losing that fish on a number four hook like that. Nice big barb, enough set. Tie on your hook, use it a Pelomar knot. Put on a bead or two, that will alter the action too. A bead or two, at least one. Always use at least one, but you could use two. You could even use three. And then slide on an action disc, okay? This is how I fish them naked. I fish the worms naked this way, and I fish the trigger minnows naked this way. If you wanna run it with a dodger, get rid of the wiggle disc, keep the bead, and run it two to three links behind a dodger. Very effective, very effective for landlocked kings and trout. They work behind dodgers. But you know me, I fish I fish naked a lot. It's kind of scary to think about, I know. But uh, when I'm fishing naked, I like to go with the action disc. When that action disc is moving through the water, that worm or that minnow, it looks like it's having a seizure. Outstanding action. They pick up that vibration through their lateral line. And I don't know if you can hear this. I'll bet you can. We'll see how good the mic is on the GoPro. Listen to this. Hear that wiggling? Hear that the, the disc wiggling against the bead? It does that the whole time you're fishing it. I've got one rigged up here. I've got a uh, got a trigger minnow rigged up, ready to go. It makes that noise the whole time it's swimming through the water. So that is just putting out your calling card. It's bringing the fish in. They locate that vibration, that sound with the lateral line. They come in and what do they see? They either see, you know, a worm gyrating through the water, getting all that action from the wiggle disc, or they see a minnow gyrating through the water, looking like it's in distress and they're curious and they hit it. The other cool thing about soft plastics is whether you're fishing grubs or the minnows or the worms, if you get a hit on a spoon or a Rapala, it's a one and done. You either hooked them or you didn't. They know right away, hey, that ain't real. I'm not hitting that thing again. When you're fishing the soft plastics, you need to refrain from touching the rod. Rods in the holder, very often you'll see this. Bink! No hookup. Bink! No hookup. 30 seconds later. Bink! Big hook! Fish on! Okay, what's going on is that fish is coming in, he's grabbing it, he's tasting it, it feels real, and pretty soon he can't take it anymore, and usually when you hook a fish after he hits it a couple times, it is way in their mouth, because they engulf it, because you fooled them, they thought it was real. Last year, you saw all the big fish we caught while guiding, we were on the water for seven months. Number one offering, trolling fly. Number two offering for big fish, soft plastics, grubs, or the trout tricks worms, the soft plastics outfished night crawlers. Let that sink in for a second. The soft plastics outfished night crawlers. And you know me, I'm a bait guy. I love trolling bait. We had stained water. We had cold water. The combination of the colors I could employ, the scents I could put on the baits, they kicked night crawlers right in the buttocks. It's hard to find a night crawler's buttocks, believe me. Um, so anyway, soft plastics, it is the new frontier of trout and landlocked king trolling and casting. You can put them on 
a jig head you can put them on a hook just like that and put a split shot on the line you can cast them you can retrieve them let me show you my latest kit new product in the store today this is the trigger minnow kit right there five different colors um, very translucent and clear to very dark very bold colors we've got a morning dawn we've got a purple and green we like to call that one bluegill very effective colors you've got a rigging kit you've got the action disc 25 baits ready to go um, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com if you've been waiting to get a set of trout tricks worms they're back in stock today i have a pretty deep um, reserve of those at this point so they should be in stock for a while but if you've been looking for the trout tricks get on over to fishhuntshoot.com grab your trout tricks and if you want to try out my new trigger minnow um, this thing is devastating guys get on over there grab a kit let's talk a little bit about fish scent and let's talk a little bit about keeping these things in good repair you want some crazy glue on your boat a couple reasons if this bait gets ripped you can repair it with a little bit of crazy glue you can also get it on the hook get it positioned on the hook let me show you the worm here pretty simple you rig them both the same way you can see that hook in there just thread that worm over the hook and up the line a little bit just like that so the the hook point is about halfway down the bait okay i want the hook point down towards the rear of the bait not right on the end but down towards the rear um once you have that in place like that you can slide the worm up the hook shank a little bit like that you can apply a little bit of crazy glue right there and then shove it back down real quick and it makes that bait just twice as durable and uh, i don't think it adds any negative scent to it at all they don't seem to mind Let's talk about scents. Um, we played with garlic last year. We used all kinds of minnow scents. For me, at Collins Lake, and you know, every lake's different. For me at Collins Lake, um, Procure Sweet Corn Scent was absolutely money, both on the trout tricks and on my grubs. The point is this, so soft plastic baits they hold that scent very well so you absolutely want to be using your favorite fish scent with them get three or four varieties you can't beat the procure super gels they flat out work they stay on the bait the plastics absorb that scent very very well it is truly a devastating combination lifelike action lifelike feel and a lifelike taste and they troll great across a huge range of speeds. I used to think you had to troll soft plastic slow. But the slowest I troll them these days is 1.7. And I'll take them all the way up to 2.5 or 3 miles an hour at times. They flat out fish. That's all I got to say. If you're not pulling soft plastics, you're not part of the new frontier of trout trolling. And you should be because these baits will help you catch more and bigger trout more and bigger landlocked kings it's just like fishing live bait i'm kel kellogg i'll catch you next time right here on youtube